thrilling. I invite local architect William J. Martin, AIA of, of Westwood, to set the stage for us to appreciate the historic significance and context of the station and following Westwood Historic Westwood Heritage Society member Jim Dines will speak about our site's history. He's dry. They told me they wanted me to speak uh, for three to five minutes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Okay? I made some notes, but I'm just gonna talk. Basically, um, as an architect, you know, we design buildings to solve important problems. So Jim Guy is gonna talk about the station directly, but I want to talk about things in a little more more of a global sense. You know, why is this here? Why is Westwood here? Why is the rail line here? In 1848. Ridgewood in the Hohokus Valley, which is the next valley over the Pascack Valley, got its rail line. So Ridgewood had a connection through to Patterson, and Patterson had rail lines that connected them to the stockyards in Jersey City, and then of course the ferries over to Manhattan. So the Hohokus Valley got its connection in, in 1848. So that spurred development, spurred economic activity in the Hohokus Valley. Uh, if you go in the other direction from where we are now, you're talking about the Northern Valley, where Kloster is. Kloster got its rail line in 1859, just before the Civil War. And on, on that side, uh, it spurred economic activity, it spurred uh, land speculation. We know that there were advertisements in New York City for people to buy land along the Northern Valley line because they could get there by rail. Okay, so, we have a rail line on one valley, in Northern Valley, we have the Pascack Valley with no rail line, and then we have the Hocus Valley with a rail line. Now, why did this happen? It happened this way, and there was no rail line. Now, if you're trying to get from Ridgewood to Pascack Valley, you've got to go up and down a lot of hills. If you're trying to get from Closter, where the rail line was, you're trying to arrive here, you're going up and down a lot of hills. Northern New Jersey is north-south balance that was created by the glaciers 20,000 years ago. Because it was hard to get here. They couldn't even have rail lines coming from the other line. So Pascack Valley needed a rail line. The rail line comes in in 1870. Okay? It actually, the first day I believe was actually uh, December the 26th of 1869, so it's almost 1870, all right? So the rail line comes in, and if you live in what we geographically call Westwood now, you like the rail line, because if you're a farmer, your <coughs> products can go out on the rail and be sold in Jersey City, ferried over to Manhattan. That's how things, the, the, the industrial centers of New Jersey at that time were down in, in what we call the Hudson County area. But all those rail lines came up into the valleys in the north, and the reason why we didn't get one until 1870 was because of these ridge lines, and, and uh, it, it had a tremendous impact on this area. I, mean, it, 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 I can't overstate that. It, uh, it, it made this whole area. What you see here today, West Greater Westwood and the Pascack Valley, would not have been possible without the rail line coming in. The other thing that I would say is that the economic significance of the train line to Westwood, we can begin to understand the significance of the train station. The train station as a piece of architecture, as an archetype, was the place of arrival for people who came in on the rail who had never been here before. So from the standpoint of our founders, our the people who started Westwood, the train station was a source of community pride. It was the place that people got their first taste of what it was like to be in Westwood. So the train station becomes that source of community pride. And there were multiple train stations, and Jim is going to talk about that. Um, these stations are literally artifacts that define the architecture of our communities because they were the first things you, you would see. And um, this helps to understand why the train station was so important to the people who lived in Westwood at that time and now. A hundred years ago, the train station was quite literally the connection between their homes, between our homes in this community, and the outside world. Today, 
We go to the airport, we get on a plane, you fly anywhere in the world. But if you want to go anywhere in the world before this train line was here, that was a tough thing to do. But once the train line came in, you could come to the train station, get on that train, and you could go down to Jersey City, cross by ferry, get on a steamship, and literally go anywhere in the world. So that the symbolism of the train station in our towns of Pascat Valley is very powerful for people living back then. It was literally their connection to the world. They didn't have TV, they didn't have automobiles. So the, the way they looked at how to get to the rest of the world was through this rail line, through these steel ribbons that run down. They're four foot, eight and a half inches apart. That is the, the standard gauge for the rail lines. And that was the width of a Roman war chariot from 2,000 years ago. That's where that comes from. But these two ribbons of steel connected Westwood to the entire world. 